Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today I have special guest Wow Crender. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> he has an awesome Wow YouTube channel, so I'll put a link down below I mean, so you can go check it out. Awesome is an overstatement. I would probably say mediocre. No, best. it's awesome. And he also does a podcast with Jesse Cox called Cox and Crender in the Morning. And they upload it really early, but I'll also put a link down to that. Also mediocre at best. I would just. Just don't go there. Don't listen, don't listen to him. It's really good, and I like it. And in honor of WOW, we are going to be making Hearthstone chocolate caramel candies today. I'm excited. Yeah, I've, I've never always, done something well. I've always wanted to make Hearthstone just anything. We're going to do it. So it takes you home. Takes me home. Takes you home. Yeah. Let's get started. The things you will need will be White cookie frosting, my favorite brand is Betty Crocker. Mm -hmm. Sky blue food coloring, because mm -hmm. we'll be dyeing our icing. Of course. Then we'll need black food coloring, but this is very special food coloring. Mm. This is oil based, and you'll need this because we'll be dyeing the chocolates a light gray. Yeah, do not get the non special kind. No. Are you, they'll look like mashed potatoes. It's a really bad situation. Yeah, unless you, you like mashed potatoes, then. Then you go can have mashed potato hearthstone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> caramel candies. Not caramel. Not caramel. I learned I learned today that the fancy way to say it is caramel. Caramel. And caramel. two squeezy bottles. You will also need paint brushes of any size. Uh, just, you know, pick whichever size is best for you. Yeah, little uh, guys. This chocolate oval mold for your Hearthstone shapes. You can get it at your craft store or mold store, whichever one you want to go to. Any Kickster, I'll put a link down <laughs> below too so that if you want to find it online, you can buy it there. Your white chocolate chip things that you can also get at Michael's or your local craft store. Yeah, these come in all different colors, so you just want to get them in white. White chocolate melts. Let's put it all together. Yeah. <sighs> So we've just microwaved all of the white chocolate melts in this bowl, and look at that! So nice! And now we're going to add a little bit of black food coloring, and remember, it's oil-based. Mm -hmm. Do not add regular food coloring. All right. Oil-based. So Did we you shake put well? In... Uh oh, you better shake that well. All right. Put the cap on. Shake that well. Wow! 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 All right. There we go. So the ratio that you'd want to use is one bag of white candy melts to five drops. Five drops. Five drops of this oil-based black coloring. Now we have melted all of our chocolates and we put it into this squeegee bottle. And now we're going to pour it into the tray. Halfway. Halfway. Halfway full. So let's begin. Once the trays are filled halfway with chocolate, you're gonna take your little paintbrushes. Did you? Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just gonna paint up the sides of the mold like so. So, we just filled these up halfway, mm -hmm. and we're now going to put them in the freezer for 10 minutes. And then we will add caramel. Mm. Caramel. Caramel! Once your little molds are all frozen, take them out of the freezer, and now we're gonna work with the caramel. 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 So make sure you unwrap all of these little candies, and then put them in the squeeze bottle, and then you'll microwave them, and then we're gonna fill them. Drip that caramel sauce. Yeah! and then cover it again with one layer of chocolate. Yum. Yum. After the chocolate's cooled, you put the final layer of chocolate on, you put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. We're gonna pop these little guys out. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So they're kind of bendy, so you can just kind of go like this. Pew! Oh yeah. They're like ice cubes. Yeah, like little ice cubes. This is the only time when you're working with chocolate melts that if you get these little air bubbles, that's a good thing, because the more air bubbles that you get, the better. The more it will look like a stone. Oh uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Wonderful. So we want the air bubbles on this one. So if you mess up, you can feel good about it. So what we're gonna do to make them look a little bit more like stones, because these are really, really smooth, we're just gonna take butter knives. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, and then just kind of carve on the outsides. And you're gonna be using the dull edge. You don't want the serrated edge. No, no, no. Our chocolate caramel holler stones are all carved out. They look so cool. They look like stones. They do. Yeah. They look a lot like stones, actually. I didn't think they'd turn out that well. They look so cute. I love them. Now we are going to do the last, final step. Here we are. Yeah. Our blue cookie frosting. And remember, this is cookie frosting, or cookie icing. And we just dyed it blue with the food coloring dye. So now we're going to draw on top of them. the caramel filled chocolate hearthstones. They're so cute. Caramel. Caramel filled caramel. hearthstones. You'll get it right one day. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> but you can believe. They're so cute. Eric's is actually my favorite. That you one. have to hold up the one. There it is. It's perfect. I love it. It was messed up and then we took a toothpick to it mm -hmm. and now it is perfect. Just like life. You gotta take toothpicks to your problems. That'll fix everything. I got so many requests to do something WoW related, and I finally got to do it. This is the first time that it's ever happened, and couldn't have been a more perfect guest. So thank Feel you, thank privileged you, privileged and honored. Oh, 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 well, why? Thank <laughs> you. I'll put all of his links down below to his awesome podcast and his WoW gaming channel. So all right. go check him out. He's pretty cool, and he has one of the most sultry voices around. I do. If you want to listen to my videos just to fall asleep, that's what a lot of people do. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love it. So thank you again for being here. And if you have any other ideas for any other nutty nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make them happen. Okay, thanks you guys. Bye bye. Oh, oh no, that's okay. no. That's okay. That's okay. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. Ow!